Okay, I'm going to try this again for the third time. This particular circuit is putting out such a large field that <laughs> it wipes out the audio on the camera. So we'll give it another shot. <clears throat> what I have here is a double loop, which is driving two Cree boards, this one in behind, which is the little one I've used all along, and this larger one up front. They're in series, and what I'm going to show you before I get to some schematics is you see I've got an LED down here, a single white LED. What I'm going to do is put it in series with the Cree boards and show you something about current. Okay, there we go. It's in series with the Cree boards, and you can see how barely lit it is. So, you know, initially you would assume that, boy, there's a lot of current flowing through here, and we put a single LED in there, and it's just going to be super bright. That is not the case. And I'll try to explain that as we go on. Okay. First off, if I touch this at all, it kills it. You can't add ground to it because it builds a field around itself, which is going to be difficult for me to get back now because I messed with it. show you a couple of schematics. I'll show you the schematic of the first loop we were using, which was a string of diodes in the same direction. And let me get it back out here. And this is the one which uh, all the diodes were flowing in the same direction, so we were only using one half of the sine wave that was being fed from the the input coil. That should be enough time for you, huh? Okay, and then the second circuit I was using was the one which was <coughs> coupled without direct connection to the coil. Okay, should be able to see that one. Off of the coil, the little bar up there signifies that it was being coupled through space rather than direct connection. And now what we have here that's driving two Cree boards is what I call a double loop. And here's the schematic for it. Now it shows uh, D17 and D18, which are the two Cree boards. And then I don't have the little white LED showing on here. But uh, it's there. So <clears throat> what we need to understand is that people wonder how we can get so much current in here. And technically the current isn't circulating the loop. The current is actually being generated by interled capacity. The small capacity and the potential is actually causing the current within the LED itself. That's why if you put only one Cree board on here, it lights to about this intensity, but yet if you put two Cree boards on there, it lights to twice the, or both of them light, so you have basically twice the intensity. If you put a little LED in there, it doesn't even get too bright because the voltage across it is fairly small. Now one thing about these loops is that it will generate a voltage only up to the break point of whatever you're putting in it. So if you put a little white lead in it, the highest voltage you'll see across it is about 2.7. This particular round Cree board has a breakdown of around 53 volts 
This little one behind has a breakdown of about 60 some volts. So, you, and if I put that LED back in the circuit, we, we've got the breakdown of this one plus the breakdown of this one plus the 2.7 volts. I hope that's clear. <laughs> the reason we're getting the super brightness we are is not because the current is flowing heavily around the loop. The potential is flowing around the loop with small current, but the actual LED itself is generating its own light. I know that sounds squirrely, but after you play with this enough, you'll figure out that it's not. So thanks for watching.